Hello folks, welcome back to Dishonored 2. Going to the rooftop. Let's see if we can't finish this sucker off. <clears throat> uh, we must confront Empress Delilah Copper Spoon. Yep, that's what we're doing. And die at my hands. So yeah. So that's the front door. This is what I was thinking about last episode. While there was a side door that we could take to get into the... What's it? Yeah. This is what we want. throne room. What has Delilah done to my throne? Well, she's sitting in it. There's the painting that she's doing. And Corvo's over there somewhere. So, we've got Delilah. And it seems like... One moment. Alright, so it seems like... This will be really easy. Oh, we don't have any. So we'll just use a stinging bolt. Slave girl. So, she goes into the painting, and there goes the heart. Bye-bye. Now, we are not going to go in there yet. There's Pops. Hey, Pop. Pair of runes. If I change the number of corrupt runes attached to the throne, it should turn Delilah's painting against her. So, do we want to do it like that, or do we want to just kill her? I think we want to do it like that. Now it's been turned against her. So, follow her into the painting. Taking a non-lethal approach. Well, if you say so. See, the thing is, it's not non-lethal because you still have to fight her. And you still have to kill her. Is royal. The world as it should be. Yeah. 
Maybe we had to go in that side door. That's possible. I've never tried going in any other way except through that window. Let me take a quick look. I don't think there's anything here. Okay, so this is... Now we'll find what I was looking for. Oh. Well, here's the safe room. wonder what would happen if I came down here after uh, trapping the dude in here. Miss Pilsen. Here's a hard. Ah. No. No. Okay. Guess I just found a toy. If I ever went back, I suppose I'd put that there. Is this Ramsey? Oh, it is. I guess that's what happened to Ramsey. He got turned to stone. Ah, here we are. Tender cord thoughts. This I have never read before. Frustrated. Been here for so long. Just acquired the throne. Uh, no, they don't seem to care for you, Ramsey. Well, that's what happened to Ramsey. They left him in here, and when they returned, they turned him to she turned him to stone. Grab some lunch. All right, enough screwing around. Let's go in the painting. So this is kind of <sighs> render her unconscious. So, uh, so yeah, rendering her unconscious is not easy. Problem is, there's a whole bunch of fake Delilahs. Yeah, 
That's a replica. Right, so that ending is really kind of a pain in the neck. I was using the wrong power, but yeah, it's uh, there's no real good way to do it. Replica, replica, replica. All right, so you gotta go. And so you gotta go and kill all the replicas, and then she appears, and you can knock her out. And you can either kill her or do this. see how well your magic works, Delilah. So, we are going to drop a hard save. So, here is trapping Delilah. I've always deserved my 
justice. Now, what's always been marred and distorted will be perfect. I've waited so long. Sing my songs and lick my flesh. Worship me! New mission clue. There she is. Yeah, or find another way to eliminate Delilah. I don't know... I don't know what that's referencing. I don't know a third way. Anyway, so we've got a choice. We can free Pops or sit on the throne. So, we have imprisoned Delilah. Let's free Pops. Oops. Oh, I killed a whole bunch of people. I'll explain it all. So, there we go. Lots of lethality. Oh, I accidentally killed a civilian. Mr. Rune. But we got the shrine. That's what mattered. Yeah, we skipped the bone charms. Who cares? Missed a lot of money. Got a painting. Missed a blueprint. Goodness. Searched. Trapped forever. Took revenge on Billy Lurk for a part. Yep. Heart of the Tower. Reached the Royal Protector's Chambers. And saved our father. So, let's see this ending. Let's see. 16 minutes. So we got a very short slideshow. With the fall of Luca and Bell. The Duke's line ended, and there was only one man ruthless enough to take the Grand Palace. Fighting his way up from nothing, none of his enemies were around to oppose the bloody Duke, Corvo Atano. In Dunwall, without ever realizing it, Delilah was trapped in an imagined world where her father's lies were undone and her subjects would bow to her forever as she sailed into war with a great armada and trekked across the Pendician Wastes. While in the true capital, Emily the Vengeful rooted out the last of those who had betrayed her and ruled over her empire with Corvo Atano's support from the south. Very short, I guess. Uh, oh, goodness. Yeah. Okay. Um, other endings mention uh, Anton and uh, Megan, but I guess they don't even mention that here. And now we've got the credits, but nobody wants to watch the credits. So, we have time. We're going to do a couple more endings. Let's see where this drops us off. Because we want... Oh, oh, this is going to be a slideshow, isn't it? Oh, is this going to be the slideshow? I hope it's not going to be the slideshow. This should leave us choosing. Nope. A slideshow. So... Let's try this game. This is an autosave. This should be F. Hopefully this is what I was looking for. Uh, right after Delilah goes into the painting. And so the ending where we leave our father a corpsicle. Right, okay, so we can just leave him there. And that gets us this ending. Where we 
leave Corvo a statue. I'm not sure what's going to happen with uh, the South having nobody to take over. Uh, the only thing that would change there is it would say that we took the throne and left Corvo. <laughs> Nothing special. And loading the very, very short slideshow, I'm, I'm sure. And so the Duke's reign in Sirkonos came to an abrupt end, with the old order burned to the ground. Times were hard, and the people left in the rubble had no choice but to claw and fight for every last scrap. In Dunwall, without ever realizing it, Delilah was banished to an imagined world where her father's lies were undone, and all her subjects would bow to her forever. As she sailed into war with a great armada, and tried to cross the Pendisian wastes. While in the true capital, Emily the Butcher took back her empire and executed her enemies, her father beside her throne for all her years and beyond. So, there you go. There is... There is not a lot of ending slideshow here. Even the longest one is only like a minute or two. I'm really kind of disappointed because he had a lot of options that you could do. You know, with uh, depending on who you want to leave in charge. And Alright, so let's chuck her over there and... <laughs> you won't mind one more unfairness, will you, Delilah? Well, that's, uh... I, I think that's a little too undignified, even for her. Alright, so, kill Delilah, take the throne. He's safe because I left him as a statue. So now we got this ending. It, uh, yeah. Good job, Bethesda. Loading the slideshow takes longer than the slideshow itself. You know, nothing about Jindosh, nothing about the two people that I killed, the, the Sokolov. And, and so the Duke's reign in Sukonos came to an abrupt end. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The order burned to the ground. Times were hard, and the people left in the rubble had no choice but to claw and fight for every last scrap. In Dunwall, with the death of Delilah Copperspoon, her coven lost its power and was smashed, their disastrous coup brought to an end by the true Empress. And thus, Emily the Butcher took back her empire and executed her enemies, her father standing in silence beside her throne for all her years and beyond. Yep. <sighs> Nothing too much there. Like I said, these are really kind of disappointing with how brief they are. I mean, it's not a very long game. There, There's nine chapters I was taking my time I mean you know you're, you're looking at I don't know 20 hours say you know, you're looking at 20 hours, give or take, and you get a 40-second slideshow. I don't know. It just seems... Mother. Emily. 
what but happened. Bethesda's gotten really bad at these oh, sorts of things. I mean, the the Fallout 4 ending slideshow was just just garbage. Don't mind me, I'm just getting a couple M&Ms. Yeah, I think we all know what's happening here. Fighting his way up from nothing, none of his enemies were around to oppose the bloody Duke, Corvo Atano. In Dunwall, with the death of Delilah Copperspoon, her cover lost its power and was smashed. The disastrous coup brought to an end. So if you don't kill Sokolov and don't kill Megan and the rightful stuff like that, there is a little bit more. So I've got some other endings that we can that'll be in bonus episodes. Her and ruled over her empire with the support of her legendary father, Corvo Atano, from the south. And there we go. Um, they have slightly longer slideshows, but yeah, for the most part, there's not a whole heck of a lot to. Uh, show here. So, let's see if we can find something else to do with uh, Ms. Copperspoon here. So we've got her, and we've got to decide. Wait a minute. All right, so you put her on the throne, and she goes into the painting. Let's see what happens if we just... Let's see what happens if we just... No. I can't just leave her there. assassination. And then we're just back to this. You won't mind one more unfairness, will you, Delilah? And that's the thing. Find another way. I'm really not sure what that is. if I could have just, like, taken her out and put her in the town. Oh, well. There we go. And if we hadn't put that corrupt bone charm there, or corrupt uh, rune there, then our only option would be to kill her. We wouldn't have the low chaos option. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. We've already seen this. So, there you go. Might as well let this play out one last time. I suppose it doesn't matter. I could just cut the recording here. But, uh, Next episodes will be 
bonus episodes, review uh, different endings, and I think there's one in Jindash's mansion. There's three or four of them. They might get posted uh, with each other, depending on how long they are. If it's like a five-minute end, a uh, five-minute video, then I'll stack them up. And then after that. Uh, I don't know what I'll be doing. I might be on vacation when the last episode goes. I'm not sure. So there might be a week where there's nothing. I'm not positive. Either way, um, we will... The next game, I don't know what the next game will be. Uh, I've been promising again and again and again to finish off the Savage Frontier. There's one more game in that series that would be the last gold box that I would do because fuck the Kren games I don't like them they're not good they are <sighs> I take it back uh, champions is okay death knights isn't too bad dark queen of Kryn is I liked Dark Queen of Kryn even less than I liked Pools of Darkness, and you probably remember how much I hated Pools of Darkness. Uh, Dark Queen of Kryn is even worse. It's got an ending segment that you have to do exactly right or you die. Uh, it's just awful. The, the damage curve is completely bonkers as well. Or the difficulty curve. So, I'm not doing Kryn. I might do... Um, what's it next? Savage Frontier. Uh, I might try and do Bard's Tale. But Bard's Tale 3 is the only one I've played to completion. So we'd have to see. I'm not really sure what next will be. I'll figure something out. And it might just be... Uh, a couple one-offs where I just uh, grab a random game from my Steam library that I haven't played and play it for a little bit just to see what it's like. I don't know. We'll see. But until next time, folks, I think that'll do it. Um, uh, I suppose I could let the credits play out. Probably the least I could do, but... I'm not going to bother. If you want to watch the credits, you can watch the credits on your own damn time. So that's... That's Dishonored 2. Mission Plus. Experiment freely with all power. about the straight missions. Yeah, so. Yeah, there's only nine. Alright. That'll do it. Until next time, folks. Have a good one.